hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video this is part two of the origami tracer tops by fumiyaki kawahata so i'm going to be folding the origami elephant by satoshi kamaya and i'm also going to be folding Manta Ray by um, Satoshi Kamaya as well. So, now let's just get started. We're gonna fold this edge to this line, or to that edge. I don't know why, but my videos, whenever I upload, upload them to YouTube, they're flipped upside down. So, sorry about that. I'm trying to figure it out. Okay, and then we're just going to fold back along this crease on the bottom. Like. So we're just going to unfold and fold this over like so and then we're just going to open this up and fold it in like so. And the model should look like this. So we're going to unfold the entire thing. Open up this pocket right here and just push in. So you see how you have all of these creases here? Just gonna use the creases that we made earlier. Like so. Just pinch and bring this up like so and squash so now the model should look like this so this is going to become the front horn these are going to become the two in the back or on the top of the head okay now we're going to start um, doing some collapsing using these creases that we made earlier in part one okay so we're going to open this up and you see how you have this crease right here we're going to open this up and push along that crease then we're going to decrease from this point here to this point right there Like so. Then we're just gonna pinch like this and make sure that everything aligns like so. And just lightly only fold this down right here. The model should look like this. So you see, this doesn't wanna lie flat. We're not going to do anything to this because we're going to have to work on this to make it lie flat. So we're going to open it up again and look at it from the side. And you see how you have this crease right here and this crease? We're going to push along and we're going to have to pleat. So make sure this is a mountain fold and the second crease here is a valley fold. that and then we're just going to push and continue along this crease then when you do that this should just basically just collapse naturally and we're just going to push this like so and 
just start reforming the model like that and just fold this down so now the model should look like this so in the back the model's not gonna lie flat we're gonna leave it like that and repeat that process but to this side like so so then you see how you have this big bulge right here we're going to just continue this crease until it reaches this one right here. So just pinch like that. So then we're going to pinch this crease on both sides and just continue to push and we're going to make crease from this point right here so make a crease from this intersection to that intersection just fold the model like so and the model shows like this then we're going to flip and to lay everything flat so you see how we have this here, it's not going to want to lay flat, we're just going to pinch here, like so, oops, so pinch this, and just push down. Like so, and do the same thing for the other side. like so and the model should look like this okay so then we're just going to fold from corner to corner So, and then just gonna, so you see how you have this folder here? I'm just now unfolding that crease so you guys can see better. We're gonna make a crease from this point across to that point. So just fold down. Like so. And then we're gonna flip and make sure that everything lines up. And crease. So this crease that you just made should touch that um, crease. Okay. And now the model looks something like so. And we're going to fold this in. Just fold this in half, like so. 
And then we're going to open this up and use that crease that you just made to swivel over. So just swivel this over all the way to this point. Like so. And do the same thing for this side. like so. So now we're going to just mount and fold in half like so and we're going to inside reverse fold tail from let me show you guys first. So from this point here to this point right here. So we're going to have to pinch like so and do the same thing on the other side like so and then the model should look like this we're just going to continue this crease so just push like so and just fold in half. And you can make the crease and it should look like so. Okay, and then just fold it in half all the way. The model should look like this now, or something like this. Now let's make the horn. So we're just gonna open this up and squash. But when we squash, we're squashing along this crease right here. Like so. And then we're just gonna pinch this in half and push along this. Then just make the crease here. And the model should now look like so. So now we're just going to fold this over so that this point here touches this edge, like so. Then we're just going to flip and we're going to make a crease from this point here and we're going to we're just going to do it in a way do it so that this edge here and this very small edge is 90 degrees like so And then 
I'm just gonna open this up and the crimp. Like so. Model should look something like this. And now we're going to just fold this flap over and fold this edge to that edge. And you just fold it back. Okay, then we're gonna fold this edge to that edge. Then we're just gonna fold this back like so. And we're going to open this up. And just squash, fold it. The model should now look like this. Like so. Then you can just open the eye like that. Hmm, it's not that good of an eye. Well, anyway, just... Do the same thing for this side. I should look something like this, not like that. I made a mistake. Okay, and then we're going to just fold this over to about there. And flip and do the same thing. Like so. Okay, and then what we're going to do is open this flap here and just inside reverse fold it here as far as it can go. Like so. And then we're just going to open it up again and Inside reverse fold it again. And what this does is makes the mouse. And the model should look something like this. Okay, so now let's work on the legs. So we're going to 
just partially open up the model and just fold this in half. This is the tricky part of the model because you really need to get these right like so. It should look something like so. Do not fold all the way up to this crease. Just leave a tiny bit of space. And do the same thing for this side. This is where it gets tricky because you can't fold the model in half to um, see if it's the same. Okay, I think that's good enough. Okay, and now we're just gonna take this get one layer and we're just gonna crimp over like so the model should look something like just push the body and do the same thing for this side this is where it gets pretty challenging because you can't check where the uh, you can't it's pretty hard to check see if it's symmetrical but it should look like this model should look like this okay and we're just gonna fold up using that intersection using this intersection so just fold it up and this is where it gets thick. Okay, so just fold it up. I'm just gonna unfold it because we want this crease to be here next time we fold this up. Then we're going to open this up and we're going to fold, just open. And we're gonna fold this edge to that crease or that edge to that edge and this is gonna be very thick so this is where why you should use tissue paper or something else that's not Tony label paper like that okay and then we're gonna unfold and swivel this over from this point to this point where this leg intersects that edge. So just open this up like so and fold up. It's very thick, like I said, and this is this makes it very hard to make the toes. So yeah. Well, anyway look something like this and then we're just gonna okay flip to this and just fold up along that crease that you have like so I'm gonna be making a video on the origami Battle Walker from Wargami. I use Kami so it doesn't really hold its shape. And I'll be making more Satoshi Kamaya. Um, I'll be making more Satoshi Kamaya videos once I make the Manta Ray. Okay. <laughs> the model should look like this. So we're just gonna fold this in. It's 
judgment fall. Well, there are references, but it's too specific, so I'm not going to tell you. It should just look like this. Then we're going to just focus in half and do the same thing for this. So then just going to pinch, pinch the middle like so. the model should look like this we're going to open this up and fold this in half as well and pinch as well i am saving the thickest for last because it's very thick the model should look like this or something like it and then we're just going to do the same thing for this side or for this Toe, and it's gonna be very thick. It should look like this or something like this. Okay. And we're gonna do the same thing to this side. So fold this up like that, fold down like that, and do the same thing like that, and then we pull this down, and do the same thing for this side, pinch this. And do the same thing for these sides, like so. And same thing for the side, like so. Okay, and now the toes are finished. Now we are going to repeat this process to this side which is going to take a pretty long time i'm not going to be talking while i do this so yeah and it might i might even take it out of the camera so i could be more comfortable Folding too many of these is, um, folding, like, your first time folding this is pretty fun. And then when you fold more, like I did, it gets pretty boring. Which is why you need to fold more origami models. Instead of just folding two and then folding all of them all the time.
should look like this now. Now we're just going to be working on the, the tail here. So we're going to unfold this like that and do the same thing for this side. Okay, then we're going to fold this in about halfway from this point. I'm gonna have to inside first. So do it from about there, halfway. And just close this up like so. Okay, then we're gonna unfold this and um, we're gonna crimp this. So, so we're gonna crimp this in and we're gonna do it So that this lines up with that, so that it touches. Like so. Okay, and then we're just gonna fold these, fold this in. Like that. And the model should look like this. So now, we're going to shape everything and I'll show you guys how to shape it. So we're just gonna take the mouth and we're gonna pinch in half so that becomes a valley fold. And basically just push in like so. Like that. Uh, it just makes it look better with a better angle. Okay, and then just fold the, just round out the legs. And for this, we're gonna fold the entire thing over. Like so. And do the same thing for this side. You guys can wet fold this one, so yeah. Okay, so then we're just gonna push this in here, and then you see we have this that's folded in half. We're actually gonna push out, like so. It should look like so model should look like this make a crease from this point to that point make sure it's a mountain this makes it look better and now we're just gonna add the points on the crest so we're just gonna fold this in like so and do the same thing for these two sides You just pinch and do the same thing for this side like that and pinch okay and then to shape the tail we're going to kind of push this out like that and then you can just change the direction of the tail so just take this and push and then use that crease and change the direction of the of the tail. And the model should look like this. Now we're just gonna pinch here. And that shapes out the tail. And you can shape out the horn by just lightly folding it in.
think so. Okay, and this is how you fold the origami triceratops by Fumiyaki Kawahata.